I now want to do a couple basic things with just a brush. Dip it into the decolorant plus, and I can make a design which I can scatter all over my fabric. Using a wider, different brush, I can get a different effect just like that. If I don't have a brush, I could even use a cotton swab. This is going to drink up a lot of the decolorant plus, but I can get a narrower look and just have fun with it. I can even use a toothpick to make very narrow marks or even little dots. I want to let that dry, but if you're like me and I, you're very impatient, I'm going to be using a heating gun to get this to dry a little faster before I use the iron. Because I've got the decolorant plus a little bit heavy in some places, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and place it over my decolorant. This is going to prevent the decolorant from getting on the bottom of my iron. And I'm going back and forth to iron my fabric. Now that I've gotten the excess up, I'm going to go over and continue to iron. You can see how bright and vibrant the color is coming. And if you've noticed, I'm not among the neatest of crafters. And I have just gotten decolorant all over my table. And I'm not really worried because I'm going to take some plain water and just wipe it up. You can see how bright and vibrant the neon pink has become. You can see the little dots, and you can see how it has started to go through the fabric. 